Hey everyone, I'm really excited to show off today a new feature that I'm releasing, an early version of a new feature that I'm releasing on oracleselixir.com, which is match pages with uh, match details and some tools for preparing for matches. Uh, and, and it's a bit of a framework that's gonna allow a lot of other things to slot in later, but I'll show you what's coming out to start with. So when you go to the Oracle's Elixir homepage, there's this area uh, in the sidebar, in the right-hand sidebar called matches, where you can see some upcoming matches, uh, if there are any live, you could see those here, and then you can see recent ones as well. And this is a way that you're now going to be able to click on these to access match details. Now, I'm, I'm still working on building a, a place where you can, you know, search for matches from different teams or from different leagues or, or uh, you know, find a whole list that way. But for now, you're going to be able to access matches from here. And uh, primarily, the, the matches page is useful for seeing upcoming matches. But... Um, that will be extended in the future. I wanted to get this out in time for Worlds and, and have it be useful for then. Uh, so if you click on one of these, and you can either click anywhere on the row or click on this icon here, you're going to head into the page, uh, and you're going to see a, an overall summary of the match. Now, if the match was over, it would show the, the match score, um, You know whether it's a 1-0 or a 3-1 or whatever that match ended up being. Uh, you're going to get rosters of the two teams, including stats from the current tournament or if the current tournament hasn't started yet from the previous tournament. Um, so you can see here the 100 Thieves Academy and Team Liquid Academy rosters, and they've both got extra players due to subs and so on. But a lot of the time you're only going to see five players per team here. If you scroll down a bit, you're going to see recent games. Now, this is the same uh, information that you get on the team's profile. Um, so if we you know, click through the 100 Thieves Academy profile page, you're going to see these recent games. It's going to be the same thing. Um, but here you're going to get that and you can see it for both teams. So you can just look recently, what compositions have they been playing and, uh, who have they been facing and, you know, are they winning a lot, losing a lot? Both these teams have been winning a lot lately, of course, cause they're in their upper bracket of proving grounds. Um, so this is some, some information. And then what I think a lot of coaches and analysts will find especially useful, um, because draft preparation is such a big deal is the recent drafts tab. So if you go over, you're going to, by default, um, select one of the teams, uh, but you can switch back and forth between either and let's take a couple seconds to load uh, and you can see a timeline of the team's drafts. So let's say, you know, I'm Team Liquid Academy and I wanted to easily prep um, my drafts and have something to talk over without having to get an analyst to go and screenshot a bunch of odds or something like that or stitch these drafts together. I can come in and I can just look through, okay, we're going to talk about our, our, uh, our blue side pick and ban against 100 Thieves Academy. So we're going to say what 100 Thieves Academy been doing in the draft on the red side. And so all these games are 100 Thieves. It'll show you which patch they were on. Now, I don't have pick order uh, data for every single game, especially when you get into Academy. At the higher level leagues, LCS, you know, LPL, things like that, the pick orders will be more readily available. Um, but you can still see the ban order and the overall team comps if the pick order isn't available. Uh, and then when the pick order is available, you can look through the whole draft, see here's the ban orders, um, blue first pick, uh, up and down. So if we're if we're on the blue side, um, we're... we're projecting to be on the blue side we can look at their red side and say hey what are their first two picks every time okay i see a lot of rise in their first two picks um varus is being uh, okay it looks like this was us uh, playing against them before but you know varus is getting first picked and they were responding with leona you scroll down a little more and you can you know find only the games so you could stop here if you only wanted the patch 11 17 games um <clears throat> what are they doing with their last pick okay top lane top lane they had a support here uh and, and you're going to be able to get a really good picture and keep going down Oh, look, they they do a lot of different things with their last picking. Mid, top, okay, a lot of top, a lot of top, <laughs> top and mid, but occasionally bottom or things like that. Uh, and so I think this will be a really useful tool for people, um, and I plan to extend this even more, uh, eventually be able to go into the individual games and see just a recap of those games visually, uh, and of course bring this draft panel into the team profiles as well. But uh, I wanted to put this out in its current form to start getting people comfortable with it and using it, um, and then add on to it as time goes on. So I hope you enjoy this. And uh, if you find any bugs or, you know, I built this pretty quickly, so I'm sure there are some bugs somewhere. If you have any feedback on the, the design or, or find anything wrong with it, uh, let me know on, on Twitter or a comment or wherever else you want to leave it. All right, enjoy.